Welcome back to class. In this lesson, we are going to be going through how to calculate the surface area of a circular cylinder. A circular cylinder has this kind of shape. It has a circular base and it has straight sides as is indicative of any cylinder. Now, importantly, when you're doing your question, you must read to make sure that your question is Clearing how it describes how your cylinder is shaped, whether it has, whether it is closed at both ends, such as a tin of milk that you may buy from the store, or if it's open at both ends, such as a piece of pipe that we use in plumbing. Those are important because if it is open at both ends or open at one end, like a water drum, then the formula that you use will vary slightly. Now let's get into how we create a formula for this situation. In this case, this is the net of a closed cylinder, and that is one that is closed at both ends. We are finding the surface area, and that means we're looking at the area of all the sides. So there's a circle at the top, which would come from here. There's a circle from the base, which would come from here. And there's this piece in the middle. Now we need to find the area of all those three pieces. Since this is a circle, we know that the formula for finding the area of a circle is pi r square. So we can write that down. And since there are two of them, let's add another pi r square here. This line that creates this, that makes this circle, is called the circumference. And we calculate the circumference using 2 pi r. Now this circular line is the same as this length here. And since this circumference is the same as this length, then this is going to be 2 pi r. It's a rectangle, so naturally this side is also 2 pi r. And the height of the cylinder here on the outside becomes the height here. Now, in finding the surface area of our closed cylinder, we would need to add these three pieces, this circle, this rectangle, and this circle. Adding these two circles gives us 2 pi r square. And finding the area of this rectangle using length times width, we get 2 times pi times r times h. So this, is, this would be for a closed cylinder. If your cylinder is open, for example, at one end, then we'd have to ditch one of the pi r square, and the formula would be pi r square, which would be for the bottom end, plus 2 pi r h. And of course, if your cylinder was open at both ends, such as in the case of a piece of pipe, um, then our formula would just be the curved surface area here, which is just 2 pi r h. And this is important when you're doing your calculations and you're reading your questions. Make sure that it is either closed at both ends, closed at one end, or open at both ends. It's important that you pay attention to those because the formula will differ based on how you, um, based on how the figure is. Now let's look at a question. Here we have a tin of regular condensed milk that you can buy in the store. If you measure the diameter, you will notice that the diameter is 7.5 centimeters and it has a height of eight centimeters. Now this one is closed at both ends. And what we want to do is to find the surface area. So the formula for this one is going to be two pi r square plus two pi r h. Since it's closed, we have a circle here, a circle at the base, and we have the, the rectangular section here in the middle. So using pi as 3.14, and we find our diameter, 7.5. We take our radius by taking half of this. So a half of 7.5 is going to be 3.75. So we have 2 times pi, which is 3.14, times 3.75 square, 2 times pi times r square, plus 2 times 3.14, that's 2 times pi, times r, which is 3.75, times the height, which is 8 centimeters. 
So our radius was 7.5 centimeters divided by 2, which gave us 3.75. Remember, um, your radius is half of your diameter. And once you have these measurements here, it's just a matter of typing this into your calculator and getting your result. And that would give you 276.7125 centimeters square. And we can round this up nice and properly as 276.7 centimeters square, or depending on how your question asks you to round it. So pay attention to how your question is structured. If it's a closed cylinder like this one, then you go ahead and use the full formula, 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h, to, to do your calculation. That's it for now. Until next time, keep working hard. And best wishes in your exam.